Guys, uh, so came out this morning. Saw the eggs were in there and everyone was, you know, moving around. Everything looked fine. But one of the ducks was not moving. One of the white pecans. I got closer and it really wasn't moving. So it looks like we lost a duck. Um, I don't understand what happened or why. Oh, babies, you get back in there. I mean, there's no sign of any struggles or anything. We got five eggs this morning. So today was the first day we got five, first of all. The, one, the fifth one is very uh, soft. Um, it was, it had, I, when I rolled it out, it had um, cracks, so it wasn't very hard. But we have... Had five girls, so that means that duck did lay an egg overnight into this morning. I'm not sure exactly when they lay, if it's late at night they lay or in the morning. But we got five eggs, so it did lay an egg at some point, and it didn't pass away. I don't know what happened, but that's very unfortunate. I'm very not happy about that. Um, Especially when my plans were to use these ones for our duck meat production. I do have these new four ones, so it looks like we will be keeping another one to replace that one. Um, I may have to get another two ducks, two pecans, because I don't know how many. <clears throat> excuse me, because I don't know how many boys and girls we have, so I may have to do that. But that's very unfortunate. I'm very sad to see that. Um, I mean, this is a secure pen. Everything looks the same. So I don't know what happened to her, you know, yesterday that made her hurt and die. But that is sad. You got yourself stuck back there behind the cage hiding from people. Not people. <laughs> hiding from other chickens. Crazy.
not letting all the chickens out. Only the ones that don't lay. Everyone else gotta get your eggs laid. Duckies, you're so cute. Let me get your food, okay? Get you some food. <laughs> you're so cute. Hey guys, so I have no idea what happened to that Pekin duck. Very sad, um, especially since I wanted to use those those ducks to breed more Pekin ducks for meat. So not only did we not get to eat that one, but we can't make more with that one. So I had to get some more Pekin ducklings. Um, got four more. So hopefully we can get this established and going with that. Um, I don't know, so weird. Hey chickens. How you guys doing? Let me in. There's a hawk flying around outside, so I want everybody to stay inside right now. I had to put everybody up. Just coming to get some eggs. Just coming to get some eggs. We got three so far. I gotta, no one seems to want these two Americana roosters, so I guess we'll be harvesting them. Those two, right there. They've gotta go. <coughs> then the next rooster that will go is the Welsomer. I don't know where he is right now. hiding somewhere. Um. So it is time that we get something else in the incubator. Um, when I say something else, I don't mean like something new that we haven't done. I mean another batch of said things in the incubator. 
Oh, I forgot how they came. Goodness. Nicely packaged, though. Definitely a lot safer than some things that people may have seen on, like, eBay purchases and stuff. Definitely don't want that. So, gotta be careful what you're getting. See if I can get these out of here. more quail eggs. Yay. These are our jumbo brown quail eggs that we have ordered from My Shire Farm in Ohio. Love that company. And as you can see, the eggs come very safe and secure so this is good so they are going to go ahead and rest for a little bit just like this I'm just sit them right on top of the incubator right on top of the incubator here um, which we started this incubator up um, yesterday no day before yesterday because i was expecting them to come yesterday but post office didn't get them here until today so that's all right but there they are so we'll get those put in tomorrow morning cannot wait and then in 17 days from tomorrow we will have new quill babies <laughs> 